I'll be showing the new class homepage in Teams for Education. This has been a long time top educator request, so let's get started. I'm here as an educator in my class team, and I'm gonna to go to this new option that's just showing up, which is the homepage option. And this is for every educator. Now I'm gonna click on here to set this up for the first time. Little dialogue. Here is the class homepage. Now this is actually backed by SharePoint behind the scenes, so it's rendering a SharePoint homepage. Every team automatically gets a SharePoint site, and it's always been like that. What we're doing now is exposing a customized education-flavored SharePoint homepage for every class. And here's the parts you get. You get a nice welcome part here, and I'll show how to edit all these things in just a bit. You get an announcement area. You can pin interesting resources or links that are always important for the class. It pulls in the calendar, so the class schedule is pulled in right here automatically. So for example, if I have office hours or lab hours or other things like that, that automatically pulls in. I can even hit the join directly here from that calendar part. Upcoming assignments are listed right here. Here are two different assignments that are coming up for the class. The assignments web part is live. So as a teacher, if I click Amazon Rainforest here, it takes me right into my teacher review experience. If I was a student, it would open up the assignment for me as that student directly in Teams. Now I'll go back. There's a little card for educators to be able to put their picture and their name or whatever else they want to say. And then recent files that have been used in the class. So pulling from class materials or other places, those show up automatically. So a really handy and compact, simple homepage by default the other nice thing is, is that as the educator, you can go and see analytics on that page. So if I click this, it pulls up page analytics. Now I'm just doing a demo, so these analytics aren't terribly interesting. I'll have a couple of page views. But if you have people coming to this homepage, you can actually get a sense of when people are looking at it and a lot of really interesting things. We'll close this. One of the best parts about SharePoint homepages is that you can edit them. So I'm gonna go in the upper right here and click edit. Now I'm in edit mode, and this homepage is actually just made up of SharePoint web parts. It's very easy to customize and edit them. It's also easy to move them around or even add new ones or remove things. So in this case, I'm gonna do a couple of simple updates. Click here, and we're gonna say welcome to, and I'm gonna change this to Mr. Tholfson's class. If I wanna change the image, I just click on the image and you get this image tool, so I can resize it, so I can make it smaller like this or make it back to normal. I can crop the image, I click here and I can crop things. So you've got a lot of different options on customizing this in just the way you want. Lastly, if you wanna change the default image right here, all you need to do is go and click this edit pencil to edit the web part. On the right hand side, that opens up the image pane. Now what I'm gonna do is click change. Here are the recent images, that's the class home I currently have. Stock images, which is really nice, lots of great options that are really colorful. You can do a web search, upload from OneDrive, however you wanna do it. I'll go here and choose stock images just to show what it looks like. I'll scroll down, I like this one right here, and I will choose at the bottom, insert. Ooh, that looks really nice. Now if that's a little bit too big, you can make it smaller and, and crop, do those other things. I'll just flip back to the one that I had previously. Now the other thing I can do is change some of these headings here. So educators can add a heading or announcement. So I'll delete this and add my own heading. Science is amazing. You can add some descriptions and announcements right here. I'll say the new lab coats are ready to pick up and you can do all sorts of highlighting and changing and formatting. We'll scroll down. You have the resources area. Maybe you wanna add some quick links I can add things here. I'm not gonna add links and, and change the sizings. You also have assignments and you can customize this. Maybe I wanna move assignments above resources. So you can see as I hover, I get that little four-way arrow. I'm gonna click and drag this part and we're gonna drop it to be above resources. So I just swapped places because assignments is more important than resources. And here's the class schedule web part. Now let's say when I go down, I actually wanna insert another web part. So when I hover, I get this little plus. And I'm gonna add a new part to my homepage. And if I scroll down here and give myself a little more space, there's all sorts of web parts. So here are some of the common ones, news, people, quick links. You can also add all sorts of text and media. Maybe I wanna add a YouTube video. Let's click this one. On the right hand side up here, it asks for my YouTube link. So I'm gonna get a fun science YouTube link. Paste that there, a nice Bill Nye the Science Guy video. Oh, there he is talking about the new web telescope. So I've added my YouTube video 
right here in line. And I encourage you, explore. There are so many different web part types you can add. You can make a really fun and engaging homepage. It's up to you. And we'll scroll down a little further. Now in this case, it's got an about me. This could be the area for the teacher to add things. And this is one that maybe when you're brand new in class, you have this, you can put a fun image in there, you can add a profile link, whatever you wanna say. But in this case, you know what, maybe I don't wanna have the about me, so I'm just gonna hit delete, and I will delete that web part. And you can see the web page automatically reflows after I deleted it. So we'll scroll back up, this looks pretty good. I'm gonna to go to the upper right and click republish. Now right here, it says republish briefly. My new web page is ready to go. Welcome to Mr. Thulfson's class. Science is amazing. New lab coats are ready to pick up. There is my Bill Nye YouTube video that's embedded. And here are the resources down at the bottom and then recent files. It's pretty nice. Now I'm ready to go. Anyone who comes into my class gets a nice homepage. Because the homepage shows up default in every new class team and existing class team, We've had requests from IT admins. In some areas, you might want to turn that off in your tenant and then enable it later. By default, it's on, but as an IT admin here, I'm going to go to the lower left and launch the admin center. Now expand show all and scroll down and choose teams at the bottom left. Now expand teams apps here and choose manage apps. Now here are all the apps in my tenant. I'm going to go over here and search by name. We're going to search for homepage and there it is. This is the SharePoint homepage app. Select this and then just click block. And we're going to confirm this is going to block the app, which means in class teams, this homepage for existing or new will not show up in that left hand rail area. So we'll click block. At the top, it says one app was blocked and you can see here it says blocked. So now homepage won't show up. So IT admins have flexibility. A note, this is tenant wide. This means that it's either on or off for all the educators in your tenant. This is now rolling out slowly across the world globally. This is in mid to late August of 2022. By the end of August, we expect this will be fully rolled out globally. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.